Okay, like I said, wasn't sure I was going to be playing those. Probably not, but... Sorry. <laughs> Let's get excited. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Echo Jinx. We're going to be playing an aggressive PNZ with just a little bit of Shirima Echo Jinx list. Very low to the ground. Lots of, you know, got a couple of zeros, lots of ones, twos, even just only a couple of threes. But as you can tell, the curve stops at four. We got Echo and Jinx. Those are our two champions. They both cost four. They're going to be the very top end of our deck. And the reason why is because we want to empty our hand to level up our Jinx. So then we're drawing two cards around. We're making some super mega death rockets that are really cool and everything like that. So we got a very low curve in order to help us out. We're also going to be doing a lot of predicting. We have these Feral Presence, zero mana predict. We have... I guess we don't have the one mana predict. But then we have Time Trick, the two mana predict. Um, are those our only predict cards? I guess maybe those are our only predict cards in here. Yeah, I guess those are our only predict cards in here. All right, so we'll be doing a little bit of predicting to level up Echo. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, okay. So there we go. So basically, I guess it's going to be a little bit more of a Jinx deck, trying to empty our hand, trying to get Jinx to level up Echo doing its thing, getting the fleeting time tricks. But All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's see how we do there with this Echo Jinx. Here we go. Okay, so we were playing against a pretty aggressive deck, I think, with Gangplank Dargus. I think this is going to be similar to the Misfortune Gangplank Pirate Aggro that we play against quite a bit, but maybe with uh, Darius as the top end instead. So I guess I'm going to keep this Feral Presence because we just don't have much other predict in our deck. And so we can use that to try to find our champions, which I, I don't need to do immediately because we can kind of see what we're doing. But I think that like round four, you know, maybe we're going and and trying to put, or I guess it'd be round three, putting a champion on top to be able to play round four if we don't have a champion. So talk about the deck that we're playing. Talizu says it has a it has solid fundamentals, but no high impact cards. Chrono Break will matter for tide turning. I'd expect a two and three record baseline and make edits based on the over-under from there. Don't expect a 0 and 5. So that's good, not expecting an 0 and 5. Yeah, I think we're gonna need our champions leveled for sure, especially Jinx leveled. Round two play is gonna be discarding Waking Sands. Discarding Drop Order. <laughs> Surprise. All right, just gonna discard this other daring Poro. But yeah, we can see that getting a Jinx is going to be very important. Man, these cards are not good. Alright, so, so we just spent zero mana to just discard a card from our hand and do nothing. <laughs> I guess it was one of the level ups for Echo, but we're, we were drawing a random card beforehand, now we're still drawing a random card. Feral Presence may be a little rough. We'll see. Yeah. If we can find Jinx, it's, it'll all work out, and we'll say it works out just fine. Because then, you know, Jinx wants you just to discard your hand anyway, so if we find Jinx, it'll work out. I'm gonna cast Mystic Shot on the Spray Fin. I'll do better this time. -uh. Yeah, 
yeah. So I can I can definitely see our deck just getting rid of the cards in our hand very quickly. And so uh, we're going to be a good Jinx deck, but we're going to be a not so good not having Jinx deck. Man, this is the slowest opponent. No jinx, but I guess we'll take this echo. Never had luck, never needed. It's not a jinx, but I guess we're gonna take that. Obviously, I don't have the ability to play the fleeting time trick this round. I really forget and never forget. Okay, worst card for me to see, Gangplank. Okay, even worse. We're going to draw through 40% of the deck and also play a good amount of predicts and also never find Jinx. We're going to be in trouble. I don't want to take the time trick just to help the Echo level up even more. But it, it's not the best thing to take. Okay, I like that. I like that. That's that's a way for us to kill the Gangplank. Okay, cool. Captain Farron. Never mind. I could definitely see getting those those felines in play being very, very important. Like those hexite crystals are awesome. So there we go, we found one. We should probably keep Mystic Shot. Awesome, found another. Now we gotta figure out how to predict. There we go, figured out a way to predict. Alright, this is a go hard elite deck. Time for any more time. There's nothing to fear. Skitter out from the darkness. All right, very glad that I didn't uh, use this Feral Presence right there. I wanted to do it right here to like grab a champion. I kinda wanna get this other Fallen Feline. I just feel like we could use some more Predict cards. Taldi Zoo says, Jinx is strong, but has no exit plan. She makes me want more cards that have a no hand to pay off in Piltover and Zon. And I can understand that. That is the, like, Jinx is super strong, but like the <laughs> rest of our deck were like, well, where's the rest of the payoff? Man, 
that was fast. Whatever they took. Now let's draw another card. And discard that other card as well. If it's not a champion or a Hexite Crystal. Champion. If it isn't that cat I rescued this morning. Head in top side. Man, they have Withering Whale. That's gonna be sad. Like them playing that makes them say that they have Withering Whale. Okay, it's just static shock. Not as bad, I guess. Gotta find more stuff. Okay, so it feels like our deck could definitely use a lot more power than what it currently has. Even with Jinx and Echo. Because like, even if we find a Jinx, if our opponent can kill a Jinx, we're in a lot of trouble. Um, yeah, like they're just sitting here with like all removal spells and just like waiting for us to play anything that matters. Which we have nothing. We have nothing that matters. <laughs> so I think that's kind of a problem, is that we kind of have nothing that matters. <laughs> Okay, really powerful wizards at work right now that who made the deck and did say that we could change things. Maybe I feel like we need to change things. I, I think we're gonna change things between between games because none of these cards matter. Okay, there we go. Finally, we got a card that matters. Suffer long. -uh. real good to see you. So the reason why I'm not really kill like blocking like these other spiders is because we do have the hexite crystals in our deck. But yeah, they're they're just sitting on tons of ways to kill this jinx, I'm sure. Lady Elise, where are you? What's that noise? Well, that was something. Found some Hexite Crystals, eh? Want to discard anything to some treasure yet? Time to go aggro. Time to go aggro. <laughs> okay, so our I think I don't think our deck works too well. Let's go ahead and change some stuff up. 
I think we have too many cards that just are really low impact, right? Like, we need, we need some cards that actually have some higher impact. Okay, we're going to be changing up the deck a little bit with our Echo Jinx, putting together uh, some more, a uh, little bit more power into the deck. So to go along with the Echoes that we're going to be using for Predicts, we're going to have Aspiring Chronomancer and Practical Perfectionist. That's going to be getting us some more Predicts. Uh, we'll put those two units in here. And then we're going to add in a little bit of top end. We're going to have a couple of Siphoning Strikes. Now, uh, the reason to have Siphoning Strike in this deck is because both of our champions are very vulnerable to removal spells. That neither one of them block very well. Uh, that extra health bonus you get with a Siphoning Strike is very valuable for both champions. Echo starts at 2 health. Jinx starts at 3 health. Both of those die fairly easily. And so getting an additional 2 health on on your champions can be really really useful you know echo having four or five health and jinx having five or six health very very useful so we got two siphoning strikes in here and then top end we got one university one augmented experimenter both of these are good at getting rid of the rest of the cards in your hand which is great for jinx and they also allow you to play a later game you know whether you draw just three cards in your deck with the experimenter or you start creating three random cards every single round they both do a good job of, of helping you play a later game while also helping level up your Jinx. So we're going to play one copy of each of those. Got the third copy of Treasure Seeker in here as well. That card's pretty good. And then just kind of got rid of like some of the other cards that weren't performing very well. Got rid of the zero mana cards and Rummage and some other stuff like that. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Now, Echo Jinx. We'll go play the last three games. Okay. Not what I want to face at all. Right? Like, if I had to choose something that was probably very bad for us, I think I would say a deck with very large units and overwhelm and spell shield. Like, anytime you're playing just Shurima, Piltover, and Zon, this is not a good matchup. So, this is going to be a tough test. If we can win this game. Which I think is a very low chance, but if we win this game, that is very exciting. That's that's a really good sign if we can win this game. This is kind of the only matchup I don't want to face. And to be honest, there's not very many decks that I want to face this matchup with. But this would be one of them. I will run you over. Alright, we're gonna take the jinx. Three. Getting more copies of jinx is always a good thing. That's definitely a good thing. And then we do have the augmented experimenter to help out the jinx. You've got a problem. I've got um, a price. But I can't ever kill that card. Yeah, we're in trouble. Yeah, we're gonna keep copying Jinx. That just means like a whole bunch of get excited and you know leveled up Jinx and stuff like that. Like that can be pretty good. Um, I guess I'll just draw the yeah. Let's just draw the Jinx. I don't think I'm playing two copies of Siphoning Strike, but it's a better chance that I play the second Siphoning Strike than I play that other card I just discarded. Why do you have Spell Shield? Spell Shield is broken. The answer is here somewhere. 
Okay, like I said, wasn't sure I was going to be playing those. Probably not, but... Sorry. <laughs> Let's get excited. We are getting excited over here. Business as usual. I think we found some more Jinx. What? Alpha Wild Claw. I should play the Jinx Get Excited actually there, because then that would just put another Jinx into my deck that I want to draw anyway. So I should have played that instead of the other one. Would you look at this place? Violence, chaos, and destruction. Definitely do not want to put a vulnerable unit out for that Renekton. No, thank you. Let me introduce you to science. I could honestly see discarding the Echo and playing the Feline. There we go! Look at that! All in Jinx! Perfectionist Jinx combo! That was pretty good, Perfectionist Jinx. Just having a million Jinxes and so a million Get Excited's pretty good. Okay, we got Draymond Ezreal. So they're gonna have lots of removal. Let's keep this hand. Or do I mulligan one bot? I'm keeping the first three. I'm keeping the one, two, three. I think we keep the second bot as well. I kind of feel like the first bot is going to get culling striked, and we're gonna want the second bot after that. Just out of get him, fallen feline. Boom. And now here comes Cooling Strike. Whoa, no Cooling Strike. Wow. The safety has been disengaged. And now we got the Ignition for the Get Excited. That's good deck building. Draven down. Draven is down. Hmm. Lots of options right here, whether to play like... Yeah, there's lots of options. All right, so yeah, Static Shock, Mystic Shock. Makes sense. Okay, so lots of options. I think... I think I want to go with this Sump Dredger, Discard Ignition. Yeah, I kind of want to draw that other card. Could have also just replaced and just gone another feline, another bond. I don't know. Lots of options there. I have the best job. This isn't really a Mystic Shot deck. We can like Mystic Shot matchup. I'm gonna skip. I can't even see that number. One. Okay, we've only predicted the one time. 
Uh -oh. So that deck loves having the creative cards. The creative cards really enable a lot of things in their deck, and so having Ballistic Bot creating each round and then all these spinning X's, those are things that are not good for me. All right, we're gonna get more Get Excited. Get Excited is good against Draven and Ezreal. Doing it right now against the Draven so that it makes my attacks a little better. Because I don't want that Draven attacking at all. Not mad at that. That's them using Get Excited to not kill my champions. So, good job, Ballistic Bot. Okay, so right now they just have three cards in hand. I also have three cards in hand, but I got three very good ones with both champions and a perfectionist. But then they also have a ballistic bot, which is an amazing card, and then also three uh, creative cards as well. I'll take one. Not a good perfectionist. I, again, don't think I just want more of any of these, I guess. I guess I'm just skipping. Meow to you. Did someone get lost in the time streams? They don't know what they're up against. Thought you'd never ask. Come on, cat. We got a cozy home for you. Yeah, we got some both Perfectionists were pretty bad predicts, but yeah, yeah, we got some not so good predicts. Or no, I guess the first predictionist was at Get Excited. Get Excited are good. I'll take more Get Excited, but that was that one wasn't very good. Because I guess that's our third predict. So yeah, we had two two bad ones where we had to skip, and that one and one to Get Excited. Go get the shiny tablet. Well, we drew the Jinx. But we didn't get to put more jinxes in our deck with perfectionist. Just you and me, fishbones. And them. Man, I miss you so much. Unfortunately got enough targets. Tribeam's good. Yeah, Treasure Seeker definitely worth. It's a, you know, like being a one drop that gets to attack and block right away on round one, very important. And then, yeah, you get the discard fodder with it also. Or just like attacking with a, a 5 2, that's very good also. So, yes, Treasure Seeker is worth it. But we are very dead to the Ezreal. Don't have anything to stop Ezreal. Great hand, very good deck opponent, Draven Ezreal, and a very good hand. So, yeah, good game. Very good interaction, having Ballistic Bot to also create cards, and then you're leveled up Ezreal on, like, round six, and then Tri-Beam. Like, that's, that's all you could want from that deck. I like it. I'll take it. These are all good blockers immediately against the Lurkers. And then we have time trick to find something. Whatever we end up needing, we have time trick to find it. Bingo. All right, so no lurk. Yeah, last game was a good game. GG's. They got us. Draven Ezreal still, you know, very good deck. Like, there's a reason why it was arguably the best deck last format. They got us. GG's.
So they are very incentivized, of course, to attack. That's what they want to do. It's going to make their life kind of difficult for attacking. Double spell with these predicts or play Jinx. to keep us safe. Alright, so no Hexite Crystals, but we got a couple of predicts for Echo. Good card for them, getting that card advantage. Uh, going, that's not a bad turn for them. Not gonna lie, kinda want a siphoning strike. Mister says I like siphon. Sensual says I think it's worth it. Bone skewer or the plus three plus one, either one of those. And they would both be pretty good counters. If they're playing Preservarium, that means they probably have the plus three plus one. need any of those, so I guess I'll just discard this university to get excited. I think that's the plan. I don't think our top end is looking silly. And gives us a chance because otherwise like if those these top end cards are just like one mana one threes and zero mana make some one ones or zero mana predict like we have no shot but like we actually have a shot now thanks to back in the, game. the top end we're back in the game Yeah, Siphoning Strike versus Aggro can be a little awkward, but I mean, we, we do still have, like, cards that, um, discard, and kind of have to hope that, you know, like, you know, if, if Siphoning Strike doesn't work, then we have cards that discard to get rid of it and get another use from it. Bone Skewer. What's looking awkward now? <laughs> Alright, that could be that Rek'Sai. We, know, we knew that they had a Rek'Sai on t like in their deck. That could have been that Rek'Sai. Siphoning Strike not looking so awkward anymore. Wow! Their Call of the Pack made <laughs> one drop, one drop? Wow. Call of the Pack made double one drop. That's not bad. And then they're about to all get plus two, plus zero. Sorry, Echo. I prefer to stay alive, though. I know one time trick would have leveled up the Echo and it would have been really nice. Life's not always really nice. Alright, so they got Rek'Sai and a random card. Rek'Sai is going to have plus five, plus zero. New tech, new tricks, new day, new song. <laughs> Wizard goes, luckily we get to discard the fleeting time tricks for Jinx. 
Alright, we got the Chrono Breaks in the deck now. We're gonna take back up Jinx, because that's just gonna be a Get Excited, and you know, Jinx with the Get Excited is always good. Okay, so this card right here is the middle card is Rek'Sai. Ancient preparations. Yes, you and me, fish bones. And them. Man, I miss you so much. So I kind of want them to play this card so that we know that it's not like some kind of protection spell for Rek'Sai. Awesome. Okay, so that's not some kind of protection spell for Rek'Sai. Stay still. I'm trying to shoot you. Sorry, Jeans. We got your backup. Ba-boom. Siphon Strike, great again. Always great. Man, Poto gives up. There we go. All right. Two and, two and one after we made some changes to the deck. Put in a little top end. We went two and one, but, you know, just lost to a really good Draven Jinx hand. Um, that had, you know, lots of champions and lots of removal and tribe and probability. Y'all know Draven Jinx. That that deck can be very good. And so we went two and one. Besides that, though, you know, be, beat some other good decks. Beat Lurkers, Siphoning Strike doing its thing, helping our Echo and Jinx grow. And yeah, Ballistic Bot creating those ignitions was nice to discard. Um, but then the other, I think the other predict cards were really important, especially really important for. Uh, Jinx, but just also be bodies, aspiring Chronomancer and practical perfectionist. Perfectionist, that one game that we had that created more Jinxes, that was really good. Had a couple perfectionists, each hit Jinx, made just tons of Jinx. Pretty excited. Well, at least I would have to say that I did get excited about that. All right, so that's going to be it here though for Echo Jinx. I think that started to work a little better. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, uh, try out this new version. Let me know how it goes for you. Um, yeah, let me know. Leave those comments. Let me know how you like this version here of Echo Jinx. You got other ideas, um, you know, or anything else. Feel free to chime in. And uh, yeah, this 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 definitely did pretty good though. I liked having, you know, you got lots of ways to do a lot of Nexus damage with Mystic Shot, Get Excited, and the Super Mega Death Rockets. You can always discard your University of Piltover to your Experimenter. Or, you know, like yeah, I think I think just having a little bit more top end, a little bit more removal and some better staying power. I think that worked out. All right, that's going to be here, though, for Echo Jinx. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.